they were in creative storage, a building built in 1915. And we have two existing ficus trees that I'm going to demonstrate for you how to prune your ficus that are a little overgrown. Our goal, first of all, is to have them tall and egg-shaped so that they're nice and tight, so that they have foliage nice and even all the way up, and there's various things we're going to do to accomplish that. First of all, I have my gloves on. I am allergic to ficus trees, so I don't like to get the sap on me. And when you're pruning, the sap is much more concentrated than we're just when we're, you're just working with a plant. Secondly, I'm going to put on my shirt. I don't want any of the sap or the leaves onto my arms. We also have, Becky, if you want to take a look at our equipment here today, we have a towel so that our sap doesn't drip on the carpet. I have a reusable bag that you're probably familiar with that we're going to put our cuttings in. We have a dustpan, we have a feather duster, and we have this cute little thing that cleans up little leaves that I'll show you later. And then I've got my twist ties and my soil probe to show you about watering. So let's start. What's our goal for our ficus tree? The pieces that I'm cutting off right in the bag immediately. The next thing we do is decide what the worst, longest leaves are and branches so that we can start at the end and then work our way back. So I would say certainly this side is the farthest out. We look at this individual branch and we decide where we're going to trim it. We're going to trim it at an inner node that's facing in the direction we want it to grow. So if we lift this up with our twist tie, this goes to the top. So we're going to trim it right here. Becky, if you want to zoom in, they can see exactly how I'm doing it. The branch comes out. It's a Y. The Y itself, you see the sap's sprouting already. We're going to trim it right here. You can't even see that it was ever trimmed. So we're going to start, we started on that one. Let's start on this long one here. Again, we start with the longest. You see how this branch tapers from thicker to thinner? And I'm trimming off the dead ones. So at the top here, we have this where it's been trimmed here and here and here and here and here. Well, none of those look great. So let's trim it to here, and this will be our new top. See how now we go from thicker to thinner. We trim off our tips. Does it have any leaves left? Yeah, it has a few. So remember, ficus can sprout anywhere once it's healthy enough. It can sprout anywhere down the stem, anywhere on the branches. So once we get it a little healthier, we get it a little more trimmed, it can sprout and be a full, nice, dense ball over time. And we'll give you shots of this later, maybe next spring. So again, I continue to trim the dead off. And then we go to the next longest one. This one here, coming over the top. This is fine. We trim it there. And our goal is when you're done, you won't even know it's trimmed. We trim this one because it's coming down. Again, at an angle in the direction of the sprout we want to grow. Now this, I'm going to swing it around for you so you can see. This is our next section, and this isn't a bad way to do it. Do it in a circle. So this one again, coming out here, going really long. We trim it. If you take a look, here's our branch. Coming down, these are narrower. Trim it right here. It'll look like a new top. You won't even know there was a branch there. Same thing. Spin it around. Longest branch coming out. We don't need one coming down with all these Y's, so pick one. We'll pick this one and this one, thinning the end, and then we'll pick this one, and it'll sprout a new sprout on the end. So start at your ends. We've got this one to go now. Whoop, hiding under the tree. Okay, same thing. Prune it here. This sprout comes up. Again, you can't even see where it was pruned because you're going from thicker to thinner. That's the way plants look most balanced in nature. And if you look at the trees outside, the beauty of the trees is based on that. Now take a look at this one. We've got a branch coming down, a sprout, another branch, and then it goes down, up, down, up. All this is thicker. So if we trim it to the thinner spot, it's going to look like it belongs again and it unbalances it, it can come up because the weight is less. This one here, it's actually so long, I'm thinking we're going to take the whole thing off. It's too long and too wide. 
So what do we have left? We have this little arm, prune it. We have this one here, prune it. We have our one coming down here, prune it. Okay, now we have it so the shape, the basic shape, is a little more compact. So now what we need to do is see if we can tie it together because it's been so wide and so heavy on the ends that it hasn't been able to grow upright as it would in nature. And of course any plant grown indoors has a whole lot less light. Let me give you another tip about the sap. I've got towels on the floor, but one of the things you can do is take a piece of the leaf. Maybe this time it'll work. Literally just glue it onto the sap, and that prevents it from continuing to drip. The sap can stain things, so you do want to pay attention to that. So you just take a little piece, put it right on there. Doesn't that work great? Okay, so let's take a look. We've got it so that it's not as wide, it's narrower now. Now we need to decide how we can make it a little more upright. So we take, and ficus is very flexible. Not every plant is, but this one is. You see how it has a braided trunk? What they did with this trunk, they put four stems in the base, they grew them up really tall, and then one day they let it get really dry and they took them and braided it like you would braiding somebody's hair. So this is green twist tie. It has metal in the middle. You can use twist tie that's just plastic. You want to loop it around the stem so that it has some stability as to where it's going to stay. Then we're going to tie it together and our goal eventually is to take this twist tie off. Once we've got it growing more upright, once we've got it healthier and more fertilized, it will grow more upright and it will be a better shaped tree. Okay, so now we've brought it in. We need another one over here. And you could just use right. a regular twist tie? You can use regular, yes, yeah. Sometimes uh, if you don't have a long one, like this is a continuous roll, which is great, you can use a twist tie and just put a bunch of them in a row. Okay. Sometimes the yellow and pink and white and green, but that's okay for a little while. Again, one loop around the stem, not real tight because it could cut into it, and then we just tie it upright. I know it's not pretty, but once we get it more compact, it will not need this because it'll grow all full and it'll sprout where we want it to sprout. Okay, it's being a little stubborn here, but we'll get it. Okay, good. Now, we're going to take a look back. Does it look better already? I think so. Do we need to... Uh... It does look a lot better. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Becky thinks it looks better and she gets to see the silhouette because I'm very young. <laughs> so, clean up our mess. And pause there, Becky, and we'll uh, talk about what our next goal is.